Hey everyone, thanks for joining me for It's a Wrap. Um, I did record this yesterday, however, I uh, the audio came out wacky, so um, I decided to redo it again this morning. Um, so, let's see, last week for things that went on, uh, we had two meetings last week, uh, which we included as working lunch meetings with the staff, um, in, and then we had another one with, with the trainers, and I was kind of pricking their brains as far as ideas for different events to go to, fundraisers, etc. So I got a lot of feedback. It was really a positive um, group gathering. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't do everybody all in one day because we don't have everybody working on the same day. But um, let's see what else. Jamie is on vacation. She is um, away for a couple of weeks, but she is sorely missed and she will be back. So I think this week is her last week on vacay. Uh, Proxy's here. He came, arrived yesterday. He's here for some just fine-tuning um, on his training while his human is working on some fine-tuning um, medically-wise. So he is here um, with Lynn Clemens um, getting some additional training done. Lucy is also being boarded right now. Um, she's here while her human is away. Um, I don't know if everybody watched yesterday, Jordy was here, um, that is one of the tribbles that went out as a perfect pet. He came today, he came yesterday to play with, um, Deanna, and that dog has some energy. I was tired just watching the two of them after a while. Um, but he, he looks great, uh, a little on the thin side, but he just turned a year old, so he is still growing. He just went through a big growth spurt. Um... Capri, she arrives on Wednesdays, uh, so I can check her out and get some measurements on her. I would say I'm 98% sure that she is with children. How many? We don't know and won't know until probably a week before her due date, where she'll get x-rayed and we'll see how many little um, skulls and spines are, are in there. But she looks good. Um, you know, She's definitely um, starting to fatten up a little bit in different areas. Uh, ivermectin was done on the first as it always is on the first um, and that is our heartworm preventative part of our worming um, process uh, frontline is due i believe today um, and i believe we have just enough to get done today so if anybody wants to donate anything we are always always looking for frontline um, we had some snowstorms here i know that a lot of people were watching them from the cameras um, so it's kind of put a little bit of a, a twist on, uh, being outdoors, that's for sure. But hopefully this week we should have beautiful weather in the mid, I think thirties, um, possibly even up to 40, no storms until in the forecast until this weekend. So that's great. Um, Watson had his final tail wrap done, um, when he had his tail amputated, he, uh, is doing good. I actually was able to take the wrap off today and he he looks good i just want to keep an eye on him make sure that he does not need his cone any longer so he's uh he's over in the ice building with bianca and hanging out with emma so the three of them are playing right now um and last but not least uh i want to talk about chicken shotting so we had no winners yesterday um the board was not sold out we had no winners in fact we didn't even have a first place um runner up so I did want to let everybody know that we, as of April, we are moving away from any monetary donation um, to the winner of the shot, shot upon. They will still get their certificate, but they'll also be receiving a rolling prize, um, which it's custom made, um, and I think that people will enjoy it. So if you have any questions about that, you know, don't feel free to get a hold of me and ask away. And that's pretty much it. So um, hopefully this this audio works and everybody enjoy the rest of your week. That's a wrap.